How to gain $20,000 across both platforms. I'm gonna show you in this video how I did it, steps I took, but basically, make sure you subscribe to my new YouTube channel. This is Kim Walker Realtor. And yo, let's get into it. So, how I first got started was, I really didn't have that many followers on TikTok. I had like 220, and then on Instagram, I think I had like 7,300. So I definitely wanted to grow across each platform, and it actually happened by mistake, so let me just say that. Happened because one of my best friends, she actually bet me uh, on a competition. She's like, I bet you can't find a spot that I don't really think about. I went in there, I did like a mini vlog on my iPhone, nothing spectacular, it was kind of grainy, whatever. Went in there, vlogged it, took about like one minute to do it, and I posted it on like Instagram first. Then on Instagram, I'm like within like, I want to say maybe two hours, I had like 10,000 views. That's kind of like where it capped at. But I was like, yo, I see like people really want this. I'm asking people in the comments, like, yo, how do you feel about it? What's going on? And they're just like, yo, we love that you're actually showcasing spots. I'm in Columbia, South Carolina, so I'm gonna let you know now. Most people don't know about it, so it was kind of like I became a tour guide instantly. So, fast forward, I started posting more videos. Uh, so, the first step I wanna definitely say is finding your niche. What are you good at? What can you post about? What comes naturally? To me, food comes naturally. I've been doing food for like 15 years of my life. So it was like one of those things that just happened. Uh, maybe it's seven or ten been a while long. Um, so the reviews were going off. And so what I had to learn to do was, okay, cool, I have the reviews going. Now I have to pretty much cross platform because I'm trying to grow my TikTok and my Instagram at the same time. So I would take the videos that I would post, which I started off on TikTok. I edited everything on TikTok. There was no other app that I used. Edited everything on TikTok, voiceovers, all that. Everything was on TikTok. I would take that TikTok video, once I do the vlog, edit it, and then I would take it and then I would put it on my Instagram. So same day, same time, I would just do like same time. That's what I wanna let you know. So there was no real study of the algorithm or anything like that. I did it at the same time. And I would post it like no matter what time, like on TikTok, take it, then post it on my Instagram and my Facebook. But um, all of a sudden I started noticing that like, even though it was a different demographic as far as age range shows, like TikTok is much younger, Instagram a little older, uh, not that much, but a little older. And uh, I started noticing like people were loving it. And I was like, okay, cool. This is something that I should be doing. Next thing, three, consistently. Um, so now that I figured out that it's going across each platform, and I would definitely say some videos are doing well on Instagram that weren't doing so well on uh, TikTok, and then vice versa. Um, so if I hit 50K on TikTok on one of the things, it may be like 10K on Instagram, but that's 10K more than what I had. And this is just me like finally getting into reels, like, March to like May, I started taking that, like really consistently doing it. And I started just doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. And I first started off with like four vlogs a month and I felt like it wasn't enough. And then I started growing. And then I was like, okay, cool. You know what, let's stamp it up. I started doing eight. So two times a week, I was dropping vlogs. I was just going to places, trying them out, boom, 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 boom. And all of a sudden I saw my TikTok growth going up exponentially. Like TikTok was going faster than Instagram, but Instagram was like catching up. Um, and then before I knew it, by like December, end of December, end of December I was at like, I want to say for Instagram, 27,000, maybe 28, I want to say 28,000. And on, just for my TikTok, I was at like 20. So I went from two something to like 20,000. And it was crazy to me. It was something that I've never done, but then I started to notice like what I was good at. So first is going to be like, Find your niche, right? Definitely find your niche. Second is gonna be like cross-platform posting. Make sure you do that. Make sure you do that. And then also consistency. Make sure you stay consistent with the content because these people are coming to your page to look at you like a channel. When they turn to your channel, they expect that season episode to be every Monday or every other day. So if they go to your channel and there's nothing there, they're gonna slowly start to lose interest. So you definitely wanna make sure that you stay consistent, consistent, consistent. This is Ken Walker, but make sure you subscribe down below, leave comments, y'all be giving more tips on how I grew my social media. 20K across these platforms, not bad.